second day of vlogmas it's seven o'clock p.m and i'm just turning on the camera <laughs> it's getting a bad bad habit this isn't it it's been a busy one people so i got up i didn't have my first class in the morning my first thing in the morning class so i just got up and i did my ironing and da 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 then i went to the gym and i did my 45 minute circuits class which was absolutely hilarious just like to add we do work in this class but we also have a right good laugh <laughs> and um i have been using my never i'm going to go back to that circuits class in a minute but this this is all going to make sense i have my never full and inside my never full i have <laughs> knickers people lots and lots and lots of knickers why did i have knickers well, let me show you why I had knickers. <laughs> right, ladies. So, let's get the knickers at the, the perfect level. Right. And we'll go for... Right. Right, so gladiators ready? Now... Let's see who can get their knickers on first this week. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> on, on. <laughs> oh, look at, oh, look at Gemma. Oh, oh yeah, yes. I'm liking Andrew's technique there. <laughs> Oh, yay! Oh, I think Gemma's the... Oh, 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 oh. That's it, that's it. I had knickers with me so last week we did it remember I showed you and we were taking them off last week but it turns out you're really supposed to be trying to get them on but it's just as fun trying to take them off I would say it's, it's this one's as hard as the other so this week as you have just seen we were trying to pull our knickers back on and it was absolutely hilarious and then once we did that we just kept the knickers on and we did a bit of a workout let me share that with you
crazy as I am people they're all as crazy as I am it was absolutely hilarious before the knickers came out we did do a workout we did do our circuit class without knickers without a carry-on and then we went into that and then to finish off we did some abs let me share that with you <laughs> ready back lie back lie back let's go circuits class i left that class and i went up and i did a half hour spin class as well to make up for the fact that i didn't do a morning class i don't normally do a spin class and the fact that i'm not doing a spin class tomorrow morning so i'm not going to share that with you don't worry <laughs> so i did my spin class and rushed home to shower and then go and get georgie because georgie was coming out of school early today because it's the last day before they break up for the holidays and whilst all that was going on, I was literally glued to my phone waiting for the doctor to phone me because today the doctor was going to phone me about my bloods. And honestly, I don't know what to think. I, I don't know because this was the same doctor that said to me that she was going to draw a line under it. And basically in today's conversation she says well look it's obvious that other doctors have been looking at your bloods and they're all calling you black back for more blood tests so um she says don't come back in a month's time what i'm going to say to you is this she says, i'm going to write to the hematologist she said so they can have a look at your bloods just to make sure i'm not doing anything that I shouldn't be doing she says like basically signing me off and um, let them have a look at the bloods and then she says if I don't call you back come back in six months and get them rechecked all depending on what the haematologist department basically the blood specialist come back with so the majority of my bloods are normal she says the, the majority of them have all come back normal except this with my neutrophils and my white blood cells and which are low and there's something else and i didn't understand what that was when i asked her to explain it to me she says it was too complicated and it wasn't anything to worry about the gist that i got was this thing showing up positive would have been a worry if other things had showed up that's the gist i got from that conversation she just said it's not something i would overly worry about anyway so i don't i don't know i don't know how to feel about them to be honest like let's see so again it's this waiting game again you know this i mean this has been going on for goodness knows how long i'm sure she said to me because they count your neutrophils and they count your white blood cells and she says to me my white blood cells have come up but my neutrophils haven't anyway but she also finished off the conversation with um if you if you start feeling unwell if you start losing weight if you start not feeling yourself if you feel start feeling differently then you must get in touch with us straight away because it's it's all to do with your immunity basically 
so that's where we are with the bloods that's all I know so I really need to just forget about it now and just get on with things because I do actually feel well I do actually feel well in myself so that's that what else did we do Georgia opened her address when I picked up Georgia I brought her home and she well we didn't we kind of went gallivanting a wee bit then we came home she opened up her advent calendar but this downstairs people there's too much going on Rico is busy I doubt very much he'll open any advent calendars tonight I'll open mine and I'll open Lily's at some point but um I don't think Rico will <laughs> I'm too scared to interrupt him people for an advent calendar if I had to be honest I don't really want to go Rico why'd you come in and open the advent calendar no I don't think that's gonna happen so that's what's been going on today and I've also got uh, another video from Terry this time she's sharing her kitchen with us so it's honestly how beautiful is her house and she, you can see how very proud of her house she is it's absolutely it's just beautiful isn't it and it's lovely to see a house where it doesn't look like everybody else's house you know like a lot of people go with the the fashion whatever's in whatever colors in whatever you know whether it's dado rails or paneling or white walls or gray walls or blue walls or black walls and following the trends terry's house is her house her home that's how she's made it with all the and all the details that she has and absolutely beautiful her photos her ornaments you'll see now the things she has in her kitchen I, honestly beautiful house terry I, shall we go to it let's go over to as soon as i've been talking about it we might as well go over to a uh, terry's hold on hold on oh it's not there people where is it uh, i was gonna say somebody stole the crown but somebody <laughs> i dropped the crown people oh again there we go let's go over okay andre this is my kitchen and uh it's kind of inspired by the farmers market i have a big love for la crusade and farm animals have the La Crusade Baker's Rack even. Trying to figure this out. I don't have no idea how you do this. I, might, I have tall ceilings and I'm, I, I keep having to go up and down because <laughs> I, I can't figure it out. But I've got a, my room is hexagon shaped and it's kind of hard to show that and I, I live on a nature reserve I don't know if you can see the trees out there um, and look at this Andrew it's an empty kitchen table and it's got clickers and Paul's computer and why is that because we eat here yes we put actual bowls of food and plates on our table. And here's Andre there on the TV set. These are my antique seed catalogs that I have up along the wall. And uh, I think the, the, the newest one is uh, 1918, I think. So they're over a hundred years old. Don't know. I, I think I got this part. Humor me. I have no idea what I'm doing, but maybe this will get your viewers. They see me being a fool. Maybe they'll, they'll send in their videos and know it's okay. You don't have to be perfect. But here's the kitchen here that we use every day. I like a lot of white. I'm a clean freak like you. 
So I like white counter sock tops and a and a white sink. These are my antique chicken prints. And I got these. These are out of an old book. And I bought them in England. And here's all my knives. And then this is Tony's little bowls that he actually I got big bowls because Tony's a big cat. And this is my retro toaster that I just absolutely adore. And then I've got spices galore. And up there, do you see those? Those are pie birds from England. So this is it. Um, I'll let you go. Have yourself a great day. And by the way, this is really hard. I don't know how you do it. Beautiful. I think I said it all before the video, but absolutely stunning, 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 and immaculate, spotless. <laughs> absolutely beautiful, Terry. Um, so thank you again for sending me the video of your kitchen and sharing your precious home with us. Thanks again, Terry. Thank you so much. Oh, I've shared quite a few videos with you. We're, we're still waiting for Jules. But I think, I think, I think she's just not doing it this year, people. We'll just all have to be disappointed in you, Jules. <laughs> she actually wasn't well. Um, so, so she says. <laughs> no, she actually wasn't well. Anyway, so I'm going to go and find a couple of questions now from It's Only Warping. Then I'm going to open the advent calendars and then I'm going to leave the vlog nice sweet and short today tomorrow i go for my hair people i cannot wait i mean people look at the greys look starts making me look starts making me look bald oh oh and i really regret leaving my nails until the last minute painted them broke one so they're in a state they're in that oh so Sunday morning I go for my nails and I actually cannot wait, cannot wait. So I've just got to dye my eyebrows. Tomorrow here, I mean it's Saturday tomorrow and Sunday is Christmas Eve. I mean Georgie said three more sleeps till Christmas, two more sleeps until Anna comes. Anyway, people, so I ran down to get my cup of tea and Rico's up for the advent calendar. <laughs> Let's do it before he changes his mind, people. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Right. We have one. We have two. That was Georgie's. She finished it. She opened, no, she opened the. She opened them all. Well, she opened the two she was due to open. Oh, well, she left 23 and 24. Okay. Lily's! Oh, Lily's doing it first. Number 22. That's 22 there. 2 2 22. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Wow! You're going to sit nice for it? You're going to sit nice? You sit nice, baby girl. Sit nice. There's my good girl. Okay. Right. Heroes. Heroes. They will be heroes. You can get a song, people. What more do you want? But this is the 23rd. 22. 20, there's the 23rd and the 24th. There's 22, yeah. Oh, Dinky Decker. Wow. There we go. Thank you for obliging, Rico. It's very kind of you. Okay, 22. Right there. Will it snow this Christmas? Not here, that one. Okay. Oh, it's a big one. It's a, it's a snowman. It's a snowman. Ah. Okay. And 22. Up here, Rico says. Oh, yeah. Raspberry smoothie. smoothie. Wow. Very nice. Go very nice with my cup of tea. Well, there we go. That was a nice wee surprise because uh, I didn't think you would tonight. <laughs> so. Cheers, this is what I really feel like. And by the way, <laughs> boy do I slurp. <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's hot 
oh it's big cups or it's just with the tea I, I don't do that with the coffee I, I don't think I do it it's just with the tea and every time I edit I'm like oh my goodness me <laughs> and when I eat when I mean, Georgie Georgie does tell me she was one day did I tell you this she was mimicking everybody the way that they eat it was hilarious and with me she just was going <laughs> the chocolates don't I? Anyway let's try this one and I'm gonna start here I go again mmm mmm I'm gonna start fasting early tonight I want to go to bed early tonight slurp <laughs> okay question mmm I just ate my Cadbury's one as well. That, it, it is lovely by the way, that Cadbury's one. Okay, one of the questions here is, have you ever spent a Christmas in Cyprus? Traditions, food, etc. If not, would you and the whole family go and spend Christmas there? Okay, I haven't ever spent Christmas in Cyprus. But for me, if I were to go I would rather go at Easter time in our religion or the way I was brought up I better just refer to myself because somebody will come on and correct it but the way I was brought up the bigger celebration for us now I'm Greek Orthodox so for me the way I was brought up was it was at Easter time that was the major um, you know the resurrection was the biggest celebration and I would like to go at Easter time I would really like because that's when they make the flowers and like my cousin still makes them uh, in the oven and they still have those what are they called like those <laughs> ovens those outside ovens made of the kind of clay oven type things outside and you know and you know I, I celebrate Easter and I try to keep to the traditions of Easter over here and we go at night and you know I've showed it all on the vlogs before when it's the resurrection the first resurrection on the Saturday morning so I would really like to do that more than Christmas for me Christmas is something I've always done over here and celebrated over here with our own traditions so I don't know if I, I would like to change those traditions. So it's not something I have thought about. Now, if I went and the whole family went, we all decided to have a, a family holiday, that's different. And that would be, I think, a one-off as opposed to it becoming a tradition. Um, but yeah, I like my Christmases here. I, yeah, this is, my traditions are here for Christmas not in Cyprus but I would like to go to Cyprus at Easter time it's one thing I've always said I want to do maybe one day I will goodness <laughs> I don't know but um yeah and I'm gonna answer another question because I often get asked this question and Ruth George and I recently discussed this when we were at the dinner dance you know about living in Cyprus Ruth and George says they would do it in a heartbeat. The only thing is, if they moved over there just now, George would have to go into the army, and that's what puts him off. Um, so that's he doesn't really he doesn't want to do that. Me personally, I've never ever wanted to move to Cyprus. Never ever wanted. When my mum and dad moved to Cyprus from London, it was my dad that wanted to move and my mum's my heart really wasn't into it. My mum adored her house in, in London. We, I was here, the grandchildren were here, but they used to come back often. Hold on, Rico's calling me. Yes! Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, what is it? I'm gonna ask you to do a post. Okay. Just say. Okay, don't know where I was now. <laughs> um, so moving to Cyprus, yeah, uh, personally, it's something that has never ever appealed to me at all. In saying that, 
when I go to Cyprus I've said this before I initially feel what am I doing here and then once I start making the, the house my home like putting my wee touches into it cleaning it with my own hands I I start to settle in I don't really ever see myself moving there living there uh, no I, th I, th I think over there their mentality is totally different to mine I'm no <laughs> don't see myself living there and I haven't, I've been, something I've never ever planned or wanted to do is to celebrate Christmas in Cyprus. Who knows? Maybe now that you've planted the seed. I don't know. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. <laughs> so, my people, I am going to leave the vlog here tonight. I'm guessing it's going to be a short one tonight, I think, because I still have to edit it. I still have to upload it. And once it's uploaded, you then have to wait for another hour and whatever it takes to process. And I've got to do the thumbnail and all the bits and pieces. And I'm not moaning, but tonight's is going to be a short one if I shut up. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here with me on Vlogmas Day 22. If you would like to see more videos from me, I'm going to link one here, here. <laughs> and there's an A somewhere about here. <laughs> If you're not already subscribed and I'll see you tomorrow looking much better with nice hair bye cheers <laughs> <laughs>